Spencer, you're coming back as sort of an alum uh, to this to this uh, dance with film festivals. Uh, what can you tell us about your experience here? Oh, I mean, we had such a great experience here last year, so it's nice to come out and uh, see this year's crop of films. And, um, the festival was uh, huge in, in supporting our film, and it's, it's great to come back and, and see what they're doing now. Are you kind of a, a person that goes to film festival as a fan to watch films? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Dance with Films, I've, I've had so many friends who have, have taken part in this festival, so it's, um, I, I have friends who have had films here this year, and um, I'm actually going to go see some of the shorts after this and, and just participate and, and watch, so it's nice to be a spectator. And now that Dude Peak is out and online and people can watch it anywhere they want, what are what is the, f- the feedback that you guys are getting nowadays? Yeah, it's been, we've had a really positive response. It's been great to... Uh, I, I've loved especially talking to, uh, to kids. It's been one of the really gratifying experiences for me who have seen the film. Um, and people who love nature as well. I mean, there's so many people that I've talked to that... Uh, that reflect on their own experiences outdoors um, and how that influenced their opinion of the movie. As an actor, how do you how do you keep your pulse on you know, what's hot, what's trendy? Obviously, sometimes the trendies or stuff pay better, you know. <laughs> but as an actor, you want to do work that's important to you, also. Yeah. What do you do? How, how do you mix that up? Um, I mean, I think that you just. I, I, I love film. I love cinema, and. Um, for me, it's it's uh, there's so many different aspects to it. Uh, films, large and small. Um, there are things that you can't do on a on a film, big film set that you can do on an independent movie, and and, and vice versa. So um, it's really just about um, different experiences. That's what's so great about this job. Is it's always new. It's always fresh. There's always different people. And quickly, last but not least, you were on the final episode of Mad Men. <laughs> I was, what yeah. was that like? Uh, it was really cool. It was um, it was so fun to watch. Those guys, uh, it was, it was, they've been on that, that show for seven years and it was like being a fly on the wall where they were all graduating and saying goodbye to each other and um, it was really neat to be on set to even just observe the, the end of such an iconic show. The table read was incredible, just going in there and seeing all those faces and um, what they've gone through and, and getting to observe. So everyone was really nice too. Is it a fast paced show? Uh, yeah, they move, they move pretty quick. So. Um, I'm, I'm sad to see it over as a fan. Uh, what are you working uh, next? What, are you, what can we see you in, in next that uh, you can talk about? Right right now, I'm, I, it's, it's uh, just working on the next thing, just trying to, to get the next job. I'd love to be, especially after Mad Men, it, it made me realize that uh, that really is one of my goals, is to, to get on a, uh, a series regular on, on a television show like that, the ability to, uh, to show up to work every day and, and work on a, a character that's always evolving and changing. That's, that's sort of my goal now. Awesome. Do you, would we ever see you behind the camera? Do you think you may have an itch yeah, for that? Yeah, I definitely have interest in, in, uh, in directing, so and, and I write as well. Um, but uh, yeah, someday, hopefully.